first of all, we're going to make our simple Japanese apron out of one large rectangle of fabric. Um, it could be an old sheet, an old curtain. Um, we're going to try and make this as zero waste as possible. What you need is your fabric, a measuring tape, or it could be a ruler, pencil or chalk, scissors, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine, and pins just to kind of hold it in place. But again, if you don't have pins, you could substitute with a little bit of tape. I've marked 104 centimetres long, 41 inches wide, um, and now I'm just going to cut down. And this remaining piece can be made into one of the straps. Now I'm going to measure down the length. So I'm going to make mine's 89 centimetres long, that's 35 inches long and obviously you can adjust this to how far you would like it um, but just to give a three centimetres hem allowance at the bottom and one centimetre seam allowance at the top. That's me got my large main piece which is 104 centimetres by 89 centimetres. I also have on my piece of fabric um, a couple of strips left here. So I think this um, piece it would be quite good to make my pockets out of. And I have a large strip here, which can be for straps. It's really good to put a face in on that, which will go on the inside. Um, I've made my face in, so it just measures along the width of your fabric. Uh, mine's was 104 centimetres and I've made it a depth of 10 centimetres and of course we'll have a seam allowance that comes up and another one that's sort of tucked in there to neaten that off and to help secure the straps. I have made two pocket bags. I've made them slightly bigger um, at 25 centimetres wide by 22 centimetres. I've made two straps. Um, these will be folded over and sewn through, which I'll demonstrate shortly. Um, but these two straps are 53 centimetres by 16 centimetres. First of all, I'm going to start with the straps. So we fold the strap in half and we're going to sew right along the length. I'm sewn along about uh, 10 millimetres, one centimetre in from the edge. If you don't have a sewing machine at home, um, th this can be done um, by hand. And because it is quite a simple uh, apron and shape, um, it wouldn't take too long to do that. What I um, have done is pressed the straps. These are the straps and also I've pressed the main fabric um, just one centimetre over at the top and then double turned each side so in one centimetre and then another centimetre and press. If you press um, all the seams before you sew it makes it so much easier when it comes to put it all together. So for the pocket bags what you do is you press three sides a uh, one centimeter in and then for the top of your pocket bag so that's at the top of the longest side and um, i've just turned over like pressed over um tell me exactly three centimeters and that can be also pressed up under like that so that you have no raw edges so to attract attach the straps we measure 36 centimeters from the very edge of your fabric and then I've just popped a couple of little pins just to hold that down and then from the other side measure again from the very edge edge of the fabric to 36 and then I've just placed a little pin there just to hold that at the moment and what you're kind of ideally looking for is perhaps a gap 
gap in the middle here is about 21 centimeters means it's just a little bit slightly bigger 21 and a half centimeters which is about eight eight and a half inches um now you might want to just before you sew that together is just check if you're happy once it's pinned you can pull hold it up to yourself and just check for the facing i have pressed down the top edge and then i've double turned the bottom edge so in fact what i'll do first is just the double turned edge i'm going to sew that right along there first and then we can do attach the face in the main and the straps all in one position i'm just going to sew here the double turned edge of the face in Actually, while I'm here, I will also do the same the top fold of the pocket bag just to hold that in place. Okay. So that's going to be the top of the pocket bag there. And yeah, this could be some by hand, but also something before you actually attach your pocket bag. If you wanted to customize your apron or particularly the pocket bag you could create some little embroideries on here if you wanted so your strap is sandwiched in the middle of your two layers so as you can see this is the main body of the fabric then i'm holding on to the strap here and then the folded over yeah so it's all sandwiched in the middle there and then if i just place in there. Okay. I'm now going to sew the main fabric to the facing and our straps are secure and sandwiched in between those two layers. I'm just sewing where I had pressed the seams. So I've pressed that down and then top stitch right along the top will help hold that in place. We need to make sure that the straps are going to cross over to the opposite side, to opposite edge of the fabric. So we previously pressed two centimetres in. Um, I've actually just unpicked this seam here for this to slot in and then pin. So if I just put a pin Here on the inside. Yes. So you can see that's you've got your guidelines where you've pressed and um, double turned the edge of the apron in. So that would be to the edge of where your outer strap will be. I'm going to do a top stitch right along the top which will go over and just secure or give an extra added bit of security to uh, holding the straps in place. So now you can see along the top here it's got a really nice little uh, bit of contrast stitching. I've made the stitch quite uh, chunky. I'm going to sew down one side, sew down the other side, and then we can finally hem. So I've actually done an extra stitch. So that is the double stitched edges done on both sides. Just pin that at each edge and do the hem and of course you can do a little slip stitch if you prefer to hand sew. So I tried the apron on and just found where my hands kind of wanted to lie for the pockets. Um, I have measured mine to be like 18 centimetres from the edge. Um, you, may, you may well be different. Um, so what I've done is just measure at the top of the pocket and then make sure that it's parallel to the edge 
um, and that it's also 18 centimetres and then my pocket is 28 centimetres from the hem and then do the same um, on the other side. I now have my two pockets pinned. Some people like their pockets to be quite close together. I kind of quite like mine's on the side of my hips. So now just to sew them on, pockets. Next, we're going to be making a mop hat. At Remode, we always use recycled fabrics. This is actually an old pair of curtains. I'm measuring here down to about 28 centimetres. And I'm just going to mark 28 centimetres each side and then also just sort of in the middle here. Draw around that and then if we cut. So for the casing, I'm going to go probably about, mark about nine centimetres all the way around. For the elastic, to measure the elastic, basically all you need to do is just wrap it around your head and make sure it's not too tight. It just fits perfectly. Now you can add lace or any trims that you have onto the edge. So first of all, what we're going to do is just hem the edge. And I'm basically going to go all the way around and then again just leave a little gap here so that we can thread the elastic through. I've pinned the um, tape all the way around, ribbon, and now I'm going to sew around um, very close to each edge to make a channel um, which I'm then going to thread through the elastic. I've left a little gap just here. Um, so that we can um, attach the elastic to each side. I've attached um, a safety pin to the end of my elastic and what you do is just push that into the channel and that just helps give you something to grip onto. So, I've now got, you've got your two ends here, so what I'm going to do is I am going to sew these um, together really securely. So you just want to even out your frills. And here we have a traditional mop hat. Thank you. 